back in May and we really started, I guess, selling um, in Q4 of 2013. Um, but for every jar of peanut butter you buy, we give a dosage of fortified peanut butter to a malnourished child. Well, I actually started Sterling Technologies in a dorm room at UVM. Our first client was actually Fletcher Allen and I spin it as an independent study. Mason Fisher, if anyone knows Mason Fisher, was my co-founder a few years ago. He went uh, out to uh, San Francisco uh, to work with ThoughtBot. And uh, so since then I brought Brian, Hanna, and Chris, who's manning the camera, um, and we're uh, quite the team. So I run uh, City Brew Tours, or a beer tour company that takes people and teaches them the brewing process. Uh, we also run beer events for our corporates as well as daily beer tours. And I started in Burlington uh, when I was, I think, a senior. I got it in 2008. My co-founder and I, um, we ended up being random roommates after I graduated from UVM here in Boston. I think what you really need to look for in a co-founder is someone who complements your skills, um, not someone who has the same skills as you. And that doesn't always necessarily work in a friendship because you tend to like people that are like you. Um, but I looked for someone, you know, she was passionate about the things that, you know, I was passionate about, but then her skill set was really different from mine. As you're pursuing an idea, you really need to evaluate it from a perspective of, is there a market for this product? Does it make sense? Is there already something out there that does what I want it to do? So um, I can tell you that being, a, being an entrepreneur, there's, I'm always filled with ideas, just as, just as you are, and uh, I have to sort of take a step back and say, you know, take the layer of excitement off of this and is this going to turn into something? Because I can't tell you how many times I've started developing something and then I find that there's a better tool for that. I would just caution people that before you race into something, as great an idea as it may seem, make sure that you vet the alternatives. We're taught like a lot of the time to kind of like tiptoe around the question and try to like sneak your way into like getting some money, but we literally came out and we were like, you know, we would love $35,000. And he was like, okay, why? And we're like, well, you know, we told him our reasons. And he was like, what will you give me? And we're like, we'll give you 5%. And he was like, no, that's not gonna happen. Um, and after a while, like, he tried to haggle us and we got down to being like, you know, we don't need the money now. We're gonna go back to Boston. We're literally, all we're gonna do is sell peanut butter. And then we'll come back to you in six months. We'll show you our sales. And we'll talk about this again and ask you for and he was like, okay, well, what if I had like someone else come in with me and match my funding? And we're like, no, like honestly, let's just let's just do this where we can go prove our sales and come back to you. And he like sat down room. We literally thought he was gonna laugh at us and be like, get out. Um, but he ended up just, you know, he was like, you know, uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, for me, it was about market opportunity. So I had Burlington Brew Tours up and running while having a nine to five job, having a person running that on without me ever even thinking about it. <laughs> when I entered into Boston, I was doing a weekly commute from Boston to Burlington to run tours in Boston to set up the market. And then once I had the relationships uh, and this opportunity in Boston where there was really not much competition, uh, that's when I decided that, all right, I can't weekly commute and to do this remotely is gonna be too hard. Yeah, I would say there's gonna always be a room full of people that will tell you you can't do something, that somebody's already done it, and just don't listen to those people. If you fill yourself and your circle with people that will tell you you can't do something, then you will be in the same room with them not doing anything. So I think that's key.